Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to perform a print head alignment on your Epson printer. So basically, a print head alignment just allows or ensures that your print head nozzles are positioned correctly to improve the quality of the output file. So it can help fix various issues such as grainy printouts or different bands that may appear across the page. And it may also show that your printer requires maintenance. So there's different reasons why you'd want to run this. And without further ado, let's go ahead and do just that. And we're going to start off by opening up the search menu, type in control panel. Best results should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. So your view by in the top right to large icons. And then you want to select devices and printers. On the right side, select printers and scanners and then select your Epson printer in this list. And then you want to go down and select where it says Printing Preferences. Go ahead and left click on that. And select the Maintenance tab. And now that we're in here, you want to go and locate where it says Print Head Alignment. Go ahead and left click on that. So it'll come up with a little window here that says the utility fixes vertical misalignment, horizontal banding, and blurry printouts. Select Next. So it will read that a vertical alignment sheet will be printed. Make sure the printer is turned on and connected to the computer. Also make sure that A4 or letter size plain paper is loaded in the printer. Click print when ready. Go ahead and select print at this point. And then you want to make sure that the parameters have been met here. If there's any sort of issue, you may need to readjust them by selecting realignment. And then you would select print. And then again, see if the issue has been resolved at that point. Hopefully that should be it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.